What's going on ladies and gentlemen? So one month later, here we are on the Sony A8G. Do I have burn-in? So far, no. I've been using this for literally everything from heavy video gaming, like normal video gaming use, to uh, movies, to pretty much anything you could use a TV for that's within reason and normal. Um, so we're talking full HUDs enabled on all my video games from fighting games to open world action, adventure games, um, all the way down to like just static text sometimes. It literally is not a problem so far. Now that doesn't mean I won't have any problems ever. As I've said in all of my burn-in uh, test videos so far, um, but it's holding up so far very well for the latter part of a month. Using it like I would any other television for a month, I have no problems. Now I've seen people say that it will take you three months, it will take you three to six months. I mean, I think at this point it's kind of one of those things where nobody actually knows. And I'll just tell you from experience, that's entirely false. There is no duration of time as to how soon you will get burn-in. Burn-in is completely random, and if you don't believe me, watch that video where my LG OLED got burn-in within just one week of usage. Normal usage just like this. It literally is random. So you can't really use that as a measuring stick. Now that being said, I'm gonna show you guys how I've been able to avoid uh, burn-in and things of that nature. So uh, for starters, I don't do anything special as far as babying the TV or anything like that. The only thing I do make sure is always on is what has been on from day one from the manufacturer. As you guys have seen in prior videos, go into your home uh, menu and then you go into settings. Then you go down to picture and display. Then you go down into expert panel settings. And then you just wanna make sure that pixel shift is on. You don't have to do anything with panel refresh. The TV will actually refresh itself when it's turned off, so much so that you can actually hear a little ticking uh, internally. So it, you can hear like a little pinging sound that comes from uh, when it's resetting itself and doing all that wonky, funky business. So uh, really, you don't have to worry about this stuff. And as you guys can see, I have a very, very clean OLED display after a month of normal usage. So again, it's not like a cease fire, cease fire kind of thing, but uh, I'll tell you, it's it's one of those things where it's not as big of a problem for me and my particular usage. Now, how am I using it? I don't game more than about four hours max. So for those gaming like upwards of 12, 13 hours, I mean, that that's not me as a person. I don't really have that kind of time these days. Uh, I think the longest I've been able to game has maybe been six and a half hours, maybe. Uh, other than that, I couldn't really say what the deal is. Now, uh, I do have some uniformity issue here, so I'm gonna pause this here, and I'm gonna open up my ISO and show you guys some uniformity issues. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but my 5% near black, as you guys can see, uh, I've got some lines here, not pretty at all. You can see my little PlayStation light, the blue light there, that's not a dead pixel or anything, or a blue pixel. Um, but you guys can see, I got a line here, and I've got some streaking happening here, and if you can't see that, maybe go full screen, check that out, but uh, yeah. I definitely have some uh, uniformity issues within the grayscale, but that's not burning. And uh, that being said, I think uh, this will be a good point to just kind of call it. It's not really, again, like six months yet, right? There's no real, ah, yes. And while we're at it, might as well test ABL. I know a lot of you guys were asking about that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, keep this down to, uh, I'll even drop it to 250 so you guys can see it a little better. And uh, it, it doesn't kick on anywhere near as aggressively as uh, LG. As you see, we have a pretty nice white. It's not like a, a grayish, dim, ultra dim color that LG has. So again, ABL does perform a lot better than what we do find on uh, LG TVs. Now that being said, it's not perfect. So don't expect perfection, but you know, it is what it is. Now, as far as burn-in is concerned, just make sure when you guys are in the store and you're dealing with your retailers that you just kind of, again, know the risks. I'm going to continue these tests so that we can assess the real-world usage, normal usage, not like running one single thing on a TV for 30 hours like Artings is doing. Uh, not, uh, you know, doing some very biased, crooked test that these manufacturers will do to try to make another brand look better. This is just every day, like person to person, like how we're gonna be using these TVs, you know what I mean? And uh, so far, with a month of real person usage, there is no burn-in, and you've heard that from the number one brand, the honesty. Um, now, 
Uh, special note, I do want to put this out before I do in the video here. Um, I do have some videos that I'm putting up. They're basically screenshot demos. Now, I've gotten a lot of questions about why am I doing this, what is that. Uh, basically, for all of you out there who are looking to do what I'm doing, test your TVs, record your TVs, upload that kind of stuff to YouTube, maybe even join in the AV space, you can't do that with the copyrighted content that we have today. All the movies that you love are copyrighted. Well, I'm creating 4K slides and UHD slides alike, and slideshow presentations or screenshot demos as I call them, and basically allowing you to take advantage of that stuff. And you just pause where you want to highlight and talk about whatever it is, and you have access to basically the same kind of content, and it'll show you how your, your TV handles skin tones and certain movies. And the idea behind this is just giving us more control over being able to use our content that we paid for. You know what I mean? And uh, that's really it. So hopefully that cleared up that question there. And with that, thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty, the Sony AAG one month later, no burning. Until the next video, see you guys later.